Okay, despite playing in the world's most disgusting kit, Leeds notched up another win this weekend. Welcome back to the Leeds View, Ben. How are you? Very well, mate. How are you? I'm good. Um, we're going to talk um, again this week about another win. We'll talk about uh, Meslier and we'll talk about Dan James and we're going to talk about Somerville pairing again. Um, you went to Blackburn. Well, actually, I think half of Leeds went to Blackburn by the yeah. <laughs> sounds, was, it, was it 7,000? Yeah, seven three hundred, something like that. Crikey, I think it must have been the first football game of the championship where half the fans in the stadium were, were away fans, was it? I, I called it before the game, did I? Let's be honest. You did. I said you it did. like a home game. Okay. Um, all right, then. So it's now unbeaten in seven matches. You've won nine from 11. And I suppose, I suppose, coming out of that, you were just waiting for Middlesbrough to do you a favour and, and beat Ipswich. But, um, of course, that, that doesn't happen, does it? But you are hot on their heels, aren't you? Yeah, we've just got to keep playing our game. Don't worry about the others. I think eventually Ipswich will start to drop points. It's just a matter of time, really. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep winning. <laughs> Is there any words we haven't used on this podcast all year to describe Somerville? I mean, ninth goal of the season. I mean, I'm boring myself talking about how great he is. He's just... I'm running out of words myself. He's just ridiculous, ain't he? Uh, I've said it numerous times. He's just one hell of a player. And, and I suppose this is the difference between Leeds and Southampton. Um, so listening to Southampton's can kind of talk about, you know, you've actually got goals from lots of areas of the pitch, haven't you? Because if mm-hmm. if Piero and Rutter don't score, then Dan James and some of her will. Um 28 goals between them. It's, uh, it's crazy. And, and just talk to me about Rutter as well. Is he because he's causing havoc in these transitions every time I've watched which Leeds visit as much as you, but is, are you astonished at kind of the player you've now got there because he, he seems to just pop up everywhere, run at teams, play amazing through ball here and there, and then comes up and adds a goal or two? Is he is is, is he one of your most improved players, or is he going for the season? I think obviously coming in January last year, it was always going to be tough for him, especially a young lad coming to a new country in the Prem. But now he's had a full pre season, we're just showing what he can do, and then he's not just. Like about what he does on the pitch it's away from it as well I think he gets what it means to play for Leeds um, the fans are really really like supportive with him and he's just as you say he's one of our own now so yeah uh, let's talk about your goalkeeper as well we haven't talked very much uh, about him but um, what, how'd you rate him? I like him he does make me nervous sometimes and he does need to be more commanding in his box when it comes to set pieces. I mean, just catch the goddamn ball. Stop trying to flap at it. But shot stopping, he can be great. But yes, he's, we forget how young he is though because of how long he's been playing in, in the team as well. You think he's only early 20s. Um, so he's, he's got like a lot ahead of him. And to be fair, again, you know, we, we will do well to keep hold of him. Yeah. Um, you must have the uh, December the twenty third now etched um, into your into your diary um, when you play when you play Ipswich. Um, some big games before that, though, uh, starting with Coventry um, this weekend. Um, what do you make of Coventry this year? Um, it's another one of them, isn't it? They started slow last year and then ended up in the playoff final. So it's they are a good team but they're yet to really show it this season, I guess. Um, but come on, we're at home. Let's make it eight in a row. <laughs> yeah, it is Fortress Ellen Rowan, isn't it, at the moment? OK, let's pause there and we'll bring in our Coventry fan. Cheers, Ben, for now. All right, Leeds against Coventry City then uh, this weekend. It's uh, the irresistible force meets, well, it's not exactly the immovable object, Claudio, but um, <laughs> you're getting there, aren't you? Um, happy memories of visits, visits to Ellen Road, Claudio? Happy memories. Uh, three wins in 52 years. They're on a roll. <laughs> um, I've seen one of them. <laughs> uh, that was back in 1996. I think it was Huckabee who scored a few oh, goals that day. That's the last time we won at uh, Ellen Road. So, uh, oh, I can remember drawing a cup match um, when Leeds won the, the old Div 2. I think it was about 1980, 81, something like that. Um, you, um, do you hold up much enough. hope? Do you hold up much hope then this weekend that you're going to shut them out? Um, I think the best. If we get a point, I'll be happy with that. 
basically, because they're um, I'm, I'm still expecting them to catch Ipswich. Um, so uh, they are my, one of my favourites to go up as um, you know, one of the promotion favourites for me. They're um, they got enough in the uh, in the squad to do that, I think. Plus January market as well, and they have got yeah. cash. All right, let's get some predictions then. Um, ben leads against Coventry. I mean, you've you've not you've not predicted anything other than a win for the last four weeks, and you've not been wrong. So yeah, I'll have to go right. again, won't I? <laughs> It'd be rude not to. Um, I'm going to go three 0 Claudio? Um, I think it could be quite entertaining. I reckon we'll lose, but I think it'd be a, a 3 2, something like that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Neutral, neutral like that. Listen, folks, thanks so much. We'll catch you next week. Enjoy. Cheers, mate.